Watch this genius. In a quarter mile, march onto I-20 West. Smash it all, it's in front of them. See all these people that drive along here? Oh, isn't he special? Oh, isn't he really special? Wow. What would yeah, it is. What happened with that one on the left being upside down? Last bit of decision there. Well, this is kind of funny. The truck and the car pass me. The truck moves over to let the blue car pass. What she should do. Except, he moves over and cuts him off again. So I passed this slower moving truck pulling the white trailer. When the semi in front of me slows down, the truck punches the gas and passes me. And then slows down again. Oh, I can't get behind brake levers. You want to keep left to hang. There is a certain kind of driver that can't see much beyond the vehicles in front of them. This Ford truck on the left side was originally behind that Jeep that's on the right. He's moving around past the Jeep. It doesn't work because he can't see that semi. He's blind. Yeah. Wow. This guy misses a chance to move over safely, but he wants to get in front of two or three more cars. I guess that's really important for some people. Here's a lesson on how to change lanes. A bad lane change by the silver Buick. No signal. Oh, yeah. And the truck in front of them does signal. See, look. There's his right turn signal. And he moves into the oh, left lane. Right, <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to say that, but he, he would also shorten it and say, you Oh, damn it, David. <laughs> you made me do this stupid thing because you don't know how to drive? <laughs> Okay, I thought we were going towards this one. Could have made that. Could have. He needs 76 cents. It's very specific, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. I'm no expert on Minnesota traffic law, but I'm pretty sure crosswalks are not for bicycles. Turn right. Go. Make a U-turn. Stop blocking traffic. Please. Approaching a tunnel and two lanes have to slow down for this guy here to move into the left lane. <laughs> and
And this is where he exits. He didn't need to change lanes. I thought he was going to make an illegal left turn, so I honked the horn. Apparently, this is the way some people get into the left lane. This is one of the only bad drivers I found in Brainerd, Minnesota. My favorite old Chevy is the 1958 model, right before they put on those ugly fins. We could be one of those little canister things. Yeah. What's a canister thing? You know, like you usually see them in. This is the bridge that crosses the Mississippi River around Baxter, Minnesota. It's really narrow way up here. into the left lane as a Prius enters a highway but there is this Audi here that wants to get by he moves in the right lane to try to get by well what's the lesson to learn sometimes people have a reason for changing lanes Audrey, what, what school her son went to but I don't remember her it's oh, wasn't swift. as she reaches the end of the ramp she's on the right side and suddenly changes her mind she wants to go to the left. Oh no, I want to take this bag out here. I want to get some of this stuff greasy. Just all that. This person in front of us is in California. Mm -hmm. Or as, or as, uh, Carl would say, California. Mm. And she does not want to know where she wants to go. Uh, I have to cut her some slack because she, she's not around here. She's just lost we are. Wow. She doesn't know where she's going. Oh my gosh. You can't. How does she think she can get away and do an avenue? Stop slowing down. Slow down. What part of that maneuver makes sense? There's a spot here that grew off and get on the way in that night. Oh, look at that maneuver. After 400 yards, take the exit right and down the road, right? Almost an 
accident there. Over three minutes, there is a POS Pontiac following a truck pulling a trailer. Perfectly happy being behind that truck all that time. That is until they realize they're driving slower than me. And then it gets weird. As I start to pass, the truck speeds up. Oh, the truck's also having trouble staying in the lane. Maybe he's drunk. I don't know. And now he doesn't want to be passed. Ah, that's a girl. Then the Pontiac moves in behind me, punches the gas, flashes the high beams. I think he's telling me that I'm driving too fast, so I decide to slow down a little bit. Just doing him a favor. After a while, the Pineck decides that it's okay for me to speed up, so he moves back to his own lane, and he's happy. At least that's one way to interpret the events of this video. I guess it doesn't really matter. He's not going to get caught. One of the neat things about accelerator pedals is that you really don't have to push it all the way to the floor. The other one was working better than this dash cam doesn't capture this very well, it doesn't have good resolution and doesn't see well in shadows. But uh, in this car there are two young women that are having an animated conversation and apparently dancing to music on the radio. And the driver doesn't know how dangerous a semi-truck can be. No helmet, and this motorcyclist is so close, I can barely see his headlight. Sure enough, the mouse takes a strong reaction to the kid. 
kids who could have been twins working at the back of my mind. And perhaps the doghouse, too, the Dedericks that had a dog. But Hammersmith only raised his eyebrows and sipped at his drink. While well, there's still time. Then I remembered what he'd done for me, and understood. I supposed it couldn't hurt, but I didn't think it would do much good either. She was looking the wrong way. I the mouse up, I winced. Lock on this door. This place is off limits to the residents. 